Hey everyone, hello, welcome back. For those of you who've been watching um, our segments, this is the Breath of Truth brought to you by God's Heart, our mission. Um, a warm welcome to you and thank you so much for sharing, for commenting, for partaking. You know, I really, really pray, we pray that uh, the Holy Spirit is able to minister to you as we share the Word of God with you. Um, if you have any questions or, or you want to find out more, mm. feel free to please just comment below there, the comment box or drop us an email or anything. You know, we are reachable on, on social media platforms. We've got a Facebook page, Instagram. Feel free, we are all here to learn as God's children, you know, to dwell on His Word. The segment is about pretty much just learning everything that is in the Bible. Um, there's always new knowledge, like fresh knowledge, you know, fresh wisdom. Because I feel that the Bible being the book of life is so layered. And I don't know about you, um, Fatima, but I found out that each time I go back, even if I read a chapter like four or five, five mm -hmm. times, there's always something new that just pops, something fresh that just pops because it is the, the book of life. So there's Correct. so much still that's so layered, you know. This is just the true wealth. I feel like this is true wealth right here. Correct. Um, and yes, just before I carry on with what the segment is going to be about, please help me welcome Fatima back again. Thank you. <laughs> on the, on the segment she's the co-host of the breath of truth and you know we are also part of the same family so we do lots together um, and with that Fatima for you last time you know we discussing the book of Genesis sorry yes last time it was the book of Genesis and then we did a little part of Genesis but now we've moved into Exodus for you the first part of Exodus what was so profound that you found with everything my mom was teaching us oh my goodness um, hello everyone hello hello thank you so much for tuning in uh, wow, with uh, the teaching um, from from what mom was teaching on, uh, which is the book of Exodus, she mm -hmm. said, um, you know, she, she mentioned uh, a few couple of, of things mm -hmm. that really, really uh, were a surprise to me, as you said, that, you know, when it comes to, to the word of God, you know, it is so layered, it mm -hmm. is so thick. Um, mm -hmm. And there are things that you know each and every day we discover. Mm -hmm. And so when mom had um, mentioned, you know, when the king was, you know, uh, looked at Moses mm -hmm. as a baby, you know, he didn't just see beauty or a beautiful a baby or a handsome baby, but there was something significant in Moses right. as a baby, mm -hmm. which mom uh, mentioned that, you know, he saw the glory of God. Yes. Mm. And it really, really, for you to be able to identify that, you know, you can only have that wisdom That's right. through the Holy Spirit. That's true. And so there are many things that, you know, when it comes to, the, to, to, to what mom was teaching on, there are so many things that are not uh, layered, mm. you know, mm. in the Bible. They are not there. Mm. But then through the Holy Spirit, you are able, you know, to have the wisdom. Yes. And through the wisdom that the Holy Spirit gave mom, we're able to say yeah. that, you know what, really, yes. is this what, you know, is this what I've been missing all yeah. this time, mm. that glory, oh, yes. you know. So that means that Moses had this glory Absolutely. in him mm -hmm. from when he was a baby. Beautiful. It just didn't appear when he was called, but it was there all this time. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. just imagine, yeah. you know, as people, as, as you know, as children of God, there are so many things that we carry mm -hmm. in us that we don't even know that of. We don't even know. That yeah. we don't even That's know right. of. Right. And our parents don't even know That's of. Right. Because right. as mom has yes. mentioned as well, mm -hmm. uh, uh, before I hand over to you is mm -hmm. Moses' mom, when she was preparing, yes. you know, she was just in her mind, we are seeing this bold woman mm -hmm. just uh, trying to, you know, to save her baby, That's right. trying to That's save right. her child, That's right. That's right. not knowing that, you know, that was already in the plans of yes. God. Everything yes. that took place mm -hmm. was in the plans of God for, you know, so that the fulfillment uh, of God's promise can, can manifest, which that. is freeing the Israelites. Mm -hmm. And this woman was also part of it, mm -hmm. but she didn't mm -hmm. even she realize. Didn't even realize. Powerful, yeah. so beautiful, beautifully illustrated. I love that because you know you mentioned very critical components. Before I say hello to, to mom to my left, welcome mom to the segment. So great to have you. And um, before I actually hand over to mom to, to just carry on with the book of Exodus, 
you like you mentioned that everything that was happening was predestined. Mm -hmm. it, for me, the book speaks about even from the onset of Genesis, God is actually a strategist. Yes. It's amazing how he was stra stra mm. strategically positioning people Position. and how one event led to the next, which spoke to his prophecy, mm. spoke to the fulfillment of his prophecy. And throughout this entire, especially with, with the life of Moses, how it all began, you sure. know. And what I also love with what you just mentioned with the glory of God on Moses' face. I love the fact that even the daughter of, of the of Pharaoh, of the king, yes. people who were idol worshippers could attest, I mean, with the king, even himself, you know, people who were, like you say, the king's looking at the child saying, this child is amazing. That speak to the verse that says that every knee shall bow and confess mm -hmm. that I am God. So you cannot say that he even says no one will say that they never knew yes, God. Yes, yes. So whether you are an idol worshiper, you are practicing this and that and the other, it doesn't matter what nationality you are, since Abraham is the father of all nations, yes. you will be able to recognize God's presence, Amen. whether you like it or not, because Amen. we carry His Spirit, and, and that is so powerful for me. I mean, that's just a baby, but something of God Amen. was right there, Amen. and it was undeniable. My and God. it's beautiful how God just arranged. And you know mm. what I also love about it? Is this, I'm not gonna fast forward here, but we know that eventually everybody knows that Moses led the children of Israel, you know, outside of uh, slavery, and, and and you know, freed them. I love how God used the the very oh. same people who led his people under slavery he turned everything around right. they raised moses in order for moses to then come yes. back again to 100%. release you know the very same people who are under slavery it's okay. so powerful. It's very powerful it is very powerful because being egyptian raising a hebrew kid i mean you can imagine this side this is the child of slave mm. or the slave like essentially but it's, it's it just goes the power of god you can just see the power of god at mm. work right there mm. so for you mom would you just pick it up from us where we left off last yes. time on the book of exodus yes. thank you chairman thank you You're welcome you. thank, thank you, you mom. Mom. Um, uh, before I actually continue, I just want to remind you that uh, you must understand what Exodus means. It means departure, meaning yes. Yes. departure of Israelites from Egypt to the Promised Land. Amen. That this land was promised actually to their ancestors by the Lord Almighty God through Abraham, Isaac, and Israel. Now, we left it when. Um, Moses now left Egypt, ran away because he killed one of the Egyptians and it came to the uh, king's attention mm -hmm. um, that one of the Egyptians has been killed by this Hebrew boy, yes. which is Moses. And then he ran, he found himself in Midian and then there he met a gentleman who was called Jethro and then he got married into this family. The wife to Moses is called Zipporah. Mm -hmm. So um, it was a median by nationality. Yes. Mm -hmm. She was not an Egyptian, she was a median by nationality. Now, that's where, when he was looking after the cattle and the sheep and the goats of this Jethro as the son in law, that he saw the tree on flames, but not burning. Mm -hmm. The burning bush. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. The burning bush. Mm -hmm. Now he heard the voice that said, Take off your sandals mm -hmm. because where your feet are is so holy. holy. Mm -hmm. He did actually took his sandals off because he was approaching and amazed. Mm -hmm. Why am I seeing the tree mm -hmm. that is actually on flames mm -hmm. but the tree is not burning? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That indicates that there is something special and there is a difference between the fire of this world yeah. and the fire that comes from Come on, man. How powerful. The fire that comes from above, it does burn, but it doesn't destroy. The fire from this world, it burns and it destroys. Mm. Are we together? We're together? That is why the Bible says, the servants of the Lord mm. is actually the holy fire. Mm. The yeah, holy yeah, yeah. fire. Baptism. Now what Moses saw, it was the holy fire from heaven. Which heaven. was an indication that in this fire, there is God there. Oh yes. Mm. And that is why you could hear the God's voice Heavens. from the very same fire. Oh, yes. mm. Now, yeah. after hearing all these things, he had actually to go back to Jethro and then he, and he took all the family members and he went back. That's right. Now remember. I love, I love, I love the verse we said when they were on the way from Midian back to Egypt, mm -hmm. the Lord wanted to kill Moses. It's written. 
Okay. Oh, yes. yes. Interesting. Yes. The Lord wanted to kill That's true. Moses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, remember, let me take you back a little bit. Yes. The covenant mm -hmm. that the Lord made with Abraham said is the spiritual one. That's right. Mm. But I want a mark mm -hmm. which is physical, mm. which is circumcision. Yes. yes, yes, I remember, yes, I remember That's that, right. yes, yes. Now remember, as well. it's not mentioned anywhere yes. that Moses, when he was born, he was circumcised. That's yes. correct. That's correct. Hmm? That's right, that's right. No, that's right. Are we it doesn't mention yes. anything. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the Bible says, when the Lord was trying all that, Zipporah remembered something. Uh -huh. And then he took the skin of the sun and then he put it on Moses' uh, feet and then Moses was accepted. Okay. That was the physical circumcision that the Lord accepted. Yes. And once you were not circumcised physically, you couldn't be part of the God's people. And then, yes. then Moses okay. became part of the God's people. Mm -hmm. That was beautiful. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Let's leave that one. Wow. Now, they went back to Egypt. Now, I love the scripture reading that says, Moses couldn't talk. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now the Lord said, I will make use of your brother to be your spokesperson. You will represent yes. me. Yes. He started. Yes. You will tell me exactly what I say. I want you to go and release my nation from the Egyptian slavery, which is idolatry. That's right. So that, that is why I'm saying this was, this slavery is actually there idolatry because the Lord said so that they can go and, and worship, worship me. me that's right yes not that's worship correct. the idols do you agree with yes. me yes agree? absolutely right. absolutely now Moses got there told the Lord that I cannot even talk mm -hmm. I will give you this folks person which is your brother yes mm -hmm. Aaron, yes. Aaron. and uh, Miriam Aaron and Moses were leading the Israelites remember I said they were from the Levi yes. tribe, tribe. Yes. and from the Levi they were from the priesthood yes, of the, the Israelites. Right. So they were the prophets and the prophetess mm -hmm. in Israel. I like that's that right. one. That's right. That's right. I'm getting hot. <laughs> now, <laughs> yes, you see that? <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Aaron agreed. So I love when Moses asked the Lord, what must I tell the Israelites who want them to get out of Egypt? He said, Tell the Israelites that I am who I am. Um, mm, mm. He didn't tell the name. Mm. Yes. Until Moses come again back and said, tell them that I am the Lord. I'm telling you this, uh, Moses, I never mentioned this name even to your ancestors. Mm. 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 Now, he went back, but he said, I am going to make Pharaoh's heart stop. Yeah, yes. Yes. Yeah. so that the world can know yes. how yes. powerful yes. Oh, I yes. am. Yep. I can do miracles to get you out of the problems, to get mm. you out of the difficulties, uh. to get you even out of the slavery you are in. Yep. Me, my Lord, mm. myself and I, yes. the sovereign <laughs> Lord. Yes. Now, when he got back, he tried to talk to Pharaoh. Pharaoh couldn't believe him. I laughed when Pharaoh said, who is the Lord? Mm. I don't know who the Lord is. Mm. Mm. He said, I must tell you that he is, I am who I am. That's right. This is the Lord of the Israelites, the Lord of Abraham, the Lord of Isaac, mm. and the Lord of mm. Jacob. Jacob. And he even said, I'm the living Lord. That's right. I'm not the Lord of the dead. He I'm the Lord of the That's right. That's right. Come That's on right. Now. now, Pharaoh didn't want to agree because he couldn't see it happening. Mm. You know yes. why? Because there were so many magicians, mm -hmm. fortune tellers mm -hmm. like today, mm -hmm. people who can oh, lie, my you dear know, God. mediums, sorcerers, mm -hmm. everything, murderers, you can mention it in Egypt. Because that's what we get as far as idolatry is concerned. Right. That is what is flying around. Oh, idolatry, yeah, 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 which yeah, yeah, yeah. everything yeah. that you can mention. Mm -hmm. Now, he was very much sure that whatever this law they are talking about can do, I've got people around. That can yeah. do it. That's right. Mm. That is why when Moses threw the stick, turned into the snake, all the magicians do the same. Yes. yes. But what well, the beauty is, Aaron's stick swallowed other, mm -hmm. all the other snakes. Yes. The that 
I am the powerful Lord and I am the only God That's correct. who can do miracles. <laughs> and he did that. Mm, that's right. Now, Pharaoh was so stubborn. Mm. And then the Lord gave 10 mm -hmm. uh, plagues, plagues mm. and problems over Egypt. Yes. Mm -hmm. But still, he could harden Pharaoh's heart. He kept hardening mm. it, yes. Reason that. Remember, Israel was chosen mm -hmm. by the Lord so that through whatever the Lord does, it can be there that the, this nation of Israelites can be the ambassador of who the true God is. And we can be bear witness to his That's right. right. That's, That's the right way. That's, That's the right, right way. Right. Now, what happened is 10 lakhs over Egypt. And right there, Mom, without trying to cut you off, I just want to mention them real quick, but I won't yes. go into detail. But from the chapter of seven uh, onwards it speaks about the first plug which is water becomes blood the second uh, god sent through frogs the third it was nuts the fourth flies the fifth death of livestock um sixth boils seventh hail um eighth locusts and then ninth uh, darkness and the tenth first born so it kept escalating but still mm -hmm. it kept hardening mm -hmm. pharaoh's heart because like you said mom he mm -hmm. wanted his his, his power and, and, and his miraculous deeds to actually happen exactly for that, which is still applicable today. Yes. yes. That there's nothing too hard. Yes. And even the Bible says that there's nothing too hard for God. And it still says, with God, nothing is impossible. Exactly. And God will always have his will, like you said, his mm. purpose mm. still prevail. So his word will still stand. Mm. He called Moses to go and release the cho his friends. children mm. yes from slavery so everything else can disappear yes but his word his will mm. him still remains even the bible says so so mom yes if you want to carry on because yes i know that yes. time is running out so quickly with me mm. i can't so see much fun. yes sorry <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, what happened is that there was only one mm. not warning but mm. the plug mm. that softened a pharaoh's heart together with the Israelites. Mm. together with the Egyptians and the officials is when their firstborn were killed. Oh yes. Now, yes. Look at the gospel. He said to Moses, Moses, mm. Mm. tell the Israelites to get a one year old lamb or, or a yes. one year old goat with no defects yes. and kill it during the night and with the blood they must put the cross yes. on their door posts yes, so right. that when the angel of death passes by mm -hmm. goes through and killing the, the Egyptians firstborns together with the animals they must pass over. Mm. Oh, that's where the word pass over mm. came from. That's where the, the Passover which we celebrate yes. Yes. us as Christians remembering the deeds of God and yes. how he rescued you and I yes. from captivity and yes. still covered. It's like a shadow and, and of it, the blood of, of yes. Christ. And what it takes us forward yes. to what happened yes. when the Simon and John and Mark as Jesus Christ in Jerusalem. Mm. Where do you want us to prepare the Passover? Yes. Oh, I love that. And on that note, <laughs> because we've My run God. out of time, Mom, I want you to pick it up right there, you know, when we come back again on our third lap of Exodus. I mean, we are just literally on chapter 12 and there's still quite a few to go. And this is just getting warmed up. So I'm really, really excited. You know, it just goes to show that God has a plan for each and everything that yes. he does. And, and the Passover which we celebrate, most of us don't even know what no. exactly are we celebrating. No. Do we know where it came about and what does it actually mean to us as children of God? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the, the living God mm -hmm. as, as, as those who call themselves Christians because we are in Christ and should be carrying that. Mom, I would love for you to unpack it exactly what Passover means before we move on to the other segments. Is there anything you would like to add, Fatima, before we sure. close? Because we <laughs> time flies when you're having fun, isn't it? <laughs> Time flies. Listen, when mom is speaking about, you know, uh, uh, the, 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 the sacrifice where God gave Moses um, uh, an instruction, uh, you know, we see blood there. Yes. And that is a part of worship. And you know, when um, something very, very profound when I was reading this, uh, when I was reading the scripture, uh, we are saying that, you know, he said just the way that he instructed the blood must be put yes. vertical and horizontal, vertical and horizontal, meaning that the horizontal, mm -hmm. you know, 
the vertical mm. is towards God, mm. Mm. and the vertical uh, is towards man. The horizontal, so the, the whole, yeah, the, yes, yes. So the vertical Christ, is uh -huh. towards God, uh -huh. and the horizontal is toward God. Mm. It's towards man. And I said, my God, what does this mean? mean so yeah. now, when Mom now is breaking it down, we are seeing here, you know. God really, really wanted a relation that was a symbol of God saying that I want a relationship mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. Seeing that symbol of blood, you know, being put like that. Mm -hmm. So there are so many things that yes. God, you know, instructs, instruct, instruct us to do, mm -hmm. you know, and that symbol of blood. Mm -hmm. Imagine, because he said, just put it like this. Yeah. and put it like this and yeah. so and and cross, so meaning cross, that yeah. the separation between me mm -hmm. between Men me and, and god. god there can never be a separate a separation because of, the because of that sign and That's the right. sign of the cross Which and is the what, sign what of the way cross I now yes you don't talk the cross you you it don't mean salvation you don't, you don't see the salvation it means because, it, because that's where our sins has been 100% that's right and that's where our wrongdoings has been handled and handled. done away with yes. yes so if you don't talk cross you don't talk Jesus yes that's right and because also, he is the carrier of the cross that, that is, is correct oh we wish I am too you know it's like we can go <laughs> on and go and, on and I, what I, you were saying Fatima I love that mm. the, 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 it was right there this is like a shadow of what was to come what because was to with come everything yes that we're saying we know that he this the, the cross already kept them away from being consumed by death. Right. What did Christ do? He made sure that we were not consumed by sin, which yes. would lead to spiritual death, not physical, spiritual death. 100%. And like you are saying, he wanted the relationship Ooh. with what? His children. And Christ is the one that reconciled us and, and, back and to God. And yes. That's what it is. And it takes us from this, from here, of Exodus now to the New Testament. To the New correct? Testament. Whenever we talk of the blood of the Lamb. Which is, yes, right. which is to say, during Passover. Yes, that's correct. And the cross that was made. That's right. right. Jesus Christ is the salvation. Yes. He is the Lord of Lords and oh, the King of Kings. Gone. And with that, it's getting very hot in here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> with that, I just want to close up the segment. Thank you so much for joining Thank you. Me. Thank so much. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, um, my dear. Please make sure to join us again next time, and we're gonna carry on where we left off the blood, the Passover, the blood of the Lamb. Blood Our Lord blood. Jesus Christ, blood my Savior, blood. your Savior, um, the one whom all authority has been given. Thank you so much for joining us on the Breath of Truth from myself, Tabang, and Fatima, and Mam Lebo. Thank you, and good night, and thank you for watching. Thank you, thank so you much. Bye. 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 Thank, thank you, Fatima. Thank you so much.